Hello viewers, in today's video I will discuss 6 pros and 6 cons of passing MRCS just after MBBS in India. In a different video I had highlighted how to pass MRCS after MBBS and it is in fact quite an easy task if you ask me. Feel free to check that video out. So in that video I talked about how to pass, in today's video I will limit the discussion to what are the pros and cons of passing MRCS just after MBBS in India. Let's discuss the pros first. MRCS is a postgraduate qualification which is acceptable in the United Kingdom. This opens up doors to receiving further training in the UK in surgical specialities after getting GMC registration which is quite easy to get after passing MRCS. Passing MRCS is a certificate from an institution of international repute basically attesting to the fact that your skills and your knowledge is adequate to becoming a member of the Royal College of Surgeons which as you know is one of the oldest surgical colleges in the world. In fact, the one in Edinburgh is the oldest surgical college in the world. Number 3. A globally renowned certificate like passing MRCS adds significant value to your CV. It can also help you in getting better jobs in the private sector in India. What I can be certain about is passing MRCS builds your confidence greatly because now you know you can treat patients not just in your home country like India but also in the United Kingdom because the MRCS exam is designed to mimic real life clinical scenarios almost perfectly. Coming to the MRCS exam, it is conducted in a very transparent manner multiple times in a year in several centers all over the world and there is no report of any discrimination that I have ever noticed. And finally, passing MRCS helps you become a member of a global fraternity of doctors which can help you in several ways that are just too much to describe in one video. But Passing MRCS just after MBBS also has some drawbacks or cons. Let's discuss them as well. MRCS after all is just an exam. It is not a surgical training program. So just passing MRCS does not help you learn how to perform surgeries. Passing MRCS is not of much value if you want to work as a surgeon in India immediately after passing MRCS because in all likelihood you would not be in possession of surgical skills. So passing MRCS is not as useful as having a postgraduate degree from an Indian university. Even if your long term plan is, is to work as a surgeon in India because there is some level of confusion regarding whether MRCS is an acceptable postgraduate surgical qualification in India or not. Another disadvantage of passing MRCS just after MBBS is you might have to encounter long waiting period to get that first surgical training job in the UK. Now full disclaimer, everybody has to wait for a long time after passing MRCS and this is perhaps owing to the fact that people from all over the world are trying to get a job in the NHS. If you want to get a job in the NHS, you have to build your portfolio as per NHS requirements and certain aspects of the NHS portfolio involve things like clinical audit. Clinical audit is not something that is emphasized a lot during the MBBS curriculum in India. In fact, I have made a video talking about how to participate in clinical audits and what clinical audits really are. Feel free to check that video out as well. The other thing I want to mention is MRCS after all is an expensive exam. Certainly if you think about it, from the point of view of somebody earning in rupees and paying exam fees in pounds. So all these things need to be taken into account if you are seriously considering attempting MRCS after MBBS in India. You can easily pass it but you should be aware of the various pros and cons and I hope I have been able to describe it lucidly in this video. If you have any doubts, if you want further clarification, please feel free to reach out in the comment section and I always reply to every comment. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye. And most importantly, don't forget to be awesome.